Uh, this might sound crazy to some of y'all, but I just wanted to let y'all know that I think the reason that this new YouTube app includes the thumbs down on display. So whenever you go into the YouTube app, not the YouTube app, but the YouTube... All right, let me see if I can see what it's called. The YouTube Studio. YT Studio app. It shows thumbs down now, and I just wanted to... Uh, put forward my theory on the reason why that they did that over the last couple days and the reason why is because over the last couple weeks I have consistently made it to where nobody can see my ratings for my videos and I'm being surveilled so heavily that they actually engineer the design of the app around my actions and so I just wanted to bring that up um, that's what's going on uh, because if it bothers me then it needs to be in my face you know and everything is about I when I try to explain it to you that there's people their full-time job you know when they wake up in the morning they wake up thinking about you know and this is what gets them up in the morning is thinking about how do I screw with that activist you know or that guy who's realizing stuff it, it's how do I get in his head you know that's what gets them out of bed in the morning you know that's what um, gives them zest as they're kissing their wife goodbye, you know, walking out the front door. Um, that's what gives them that zest, you know what I mean? That that zesty feeling, you know, when the birds are chirping and, you know, you're going to do something productive today. Well, they get that out of waking up in the morning and thinking about shit like this. And that's This is who they are, you know, and this is what they live for. You know, you wake up in the morning, you think about how to go do something productive. They wake up in the morning and think about... How do I get Tanner to feel a little bit more um, angry because clearly he doesn't want to see what people say on his ratings, so maybe we can figure out a way to go in and make it to where they can. I mean, the kind of shit that's like, wow, man, like, you know, you just sit there and think about the disparity between what you do on a daily basis to make something happen productive, and then you start thinking about, you know, the meticulous thought patterns that go into what they do. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just really, it's unbelievable, really. And this is the kind of shit that I really didn't want to end up going back into. But I mean, if they'll do it, then I'll do it. You know, I mean, I've proven it to them. And so I just wanted to let you know that um, the, uh, the hidden agenda behind showing you thumbs down on the YT Studio app, uh, it's pretty... It's pretty, you know, um, it's pretty crazy, man. It's pretty, it's pretty, um, hatched out, man. You know, it's like, it's, uh, it's like that big conspiracy like the Federal Reserve and it's the thumbs down button on the YT Studio app. And, um, but yeah, I mean, you know, why not? Why not even just that, you know? Why not even just every little thing in life as as it comes up to them within 24 hours of realizing that it's something that bothers you that could only be ascertained by just scrutinizing your personal life because I don't even have views on half, most of these videos. So you know it's not even something where they went in and even looked at the video and made their just, you know, their decision off of that. They made their decision off of watching me. You know, just like they come over my speakers through my iPhone when my iPhone was hooked up to my speakers and just start having conversations with me without even having made a phone call or the picture I took where they're walking out of their house and you see my mattress in the bed of my truck <laughs> and there they are moving out the day that I move out and I had already made a, and I told you what the address was in the description and I had already called the police there's there's a call on record where I called in and said these guys just admitted to me about two weeks before that that they're planted next door to me it's just the kind of shit that goes on. I mean, the Acacia Strain made a song called The Hills Have Eyes that's, a, you know, where they have another song on that album where they admit to being wolves in sheep's clothing, literally. And and it's like, this is their, this is, this is what, this is what they have, you know what I mean? I guess I should, like, uh, kind of, like, give it to them in a way like I am now, like, you know, give them a little bit of a victory because these truly are the kind of people you feel sorry for, you know? And these are the kids that, you know, almost got put in a thunder shirt growing up because, you know, almost ended up on the short bus, but they didn't end up on the short bus. They were just 
the odd man out in school and this is who they are. And so in a lot of ways, I think we should feel sorry for them. 